So I'm gonna show you how to make some bounty balls because who doesn't love bounty balls? So we're gonna be using the same technique from the last video where we parent the ball, in this case, to an object that is already moving across the screen. But we're also going to remove the randomization from this part. We're keeping the Y position at zero for this tutorial. The difference is though, instead of making a sine wave pattern, we're going to be making a bouncy ball that squashes and stretches as it bounces up and down. So here's another attempt to add a physics lesson. When you drop a bouncy ball, or anything else in real life, its starting velocity is zero. Then it gradually gets faster as time passes until it hits the ground. This is the equivalent of the in sign ease type, starting slow, then speeding up until the end. Then when that bouncy object hits the ground, it bounces back up, starting fast, and then slowing down until the velocity is zero. That is the equivalent of the out sign ease type that does the same thing. So the way we make an object fall towards the floor, then bounce back up, is to use in sign for falling and out sign for bouncing back up. So as you can see, I made a new object. This is a black circle with a scale of 6-6. Six, six. So I want this ball's starting position to be 0, 15. So then I will add another keyframe in the position timeline, the right clicking, and I will set the Y position so that it kind of goes into the floor like that. Then I will set the ease type to in sign. Uh, I could make this so that it barely touches the bottom of the screen, but I want to add the squash and stretch after I add the movements. Then I will add one more keyframe and set it back to 0, 15. And then I will change the ease type to out sign. Now this is what the ball looks like. Okay, that's that's not perfect. I'm gonna tweak that a little bit. There we go. Now you could just copy and paste these keyframes over and over and keep it like this, but I want to add the squash and stretch. If you just look at ball squash and stretch on Google Images, you'll see what I mean. See how as it falls towards the ground, it slowly stretches out vertically. Then when it hits the ground, it squashes horizontally. And then as it rises back up, it stretches vertically again until it retains its original shape. And then it repeats the process for the next bounce. So right now, the ball has a scale of 6-6. Six, six. I'm going to make it so that it gradually stretches vertically as it falls towards the ground. So I will add a scale keyframe right over here just as it's about to hit the ground. Right here. I will add a scale keyframe. Then I will subtract 1 from the X scale and add 1 to the Y scale. Then I will set the ease type to in out sign. Now you can see how the ball changes as it falls towards the ground. So now I'm going to make this ball squash horizontally as it hits the ground. So I will add a keyframe right here just as it finishes its descent and set the scale to about 8, 4. And as you can see I'm also using in out sign as the ease type. And you can see how it squashes down as it hits the floor now. So now I will add another keyframe that stretches vertically again as the ball rises up. Set the scale to 5, 7. Then a final keyframe that makes it retain its original scale of 6, 6. So let's see how this looks. And this looks good. So all I have to do now is just copy and paste these keyframes over and over. And uh, like I said, in the future there will be a repeat keyframe option so you don't have to do this, but for now, this is what I'm doing. So now, this is what the ball looks like.
Now, I know I just gave a whole physics lesson, but like at the same time, we're ignoring the laws of physics entirely, and this ball is just gonna keep bouncing at the same height because whatever. So, all I have to do now is parent the ball to this empty object that's moving across the screen. And then make that object empty. And now, this is what we have. And that's how you do a bouncing animation. How do you do, like, how do you do a YouTube intro? What what do I talk about? I'm, 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 I'm still in this experimental phase, and I, I don't know what to do, man.